darkness was falling. He could barely see the finish line. But in Ted Bassett's memory, the 1988 distaff is as clear as day. He couldn't have chosen a better moment to start his tenure as Breeders' Cup president. Personal ensign seeking career perfection in her last race with a Kentucky Derby winning filly in her way. Here comes Personal Ensign! Personal Ensign came roaring up on the outside on a muddy track. A dramatic finish, and here is the wire! And it is Personal Ensign there with winning colors in a photo! Magnificent race and had the crowd responding with a great uproar of appreciation. A few years later, Bassett experienced a different kind of personal victory. His lifelong friend Charles Sella, the owner of Oaklawn Park, had a horse in the 1995 Breeders' Cup turf. Northern Spur was also trained by another close Bassett friend, Ron McAnally. I wasn't sitting with Charles, but uh, I was watching it and discreetly pulling for him and, and McAnally. Dramatic finish. These two in a test of will to the wire, Northern Spur! Yes! Handing the Breeders' Cup trophy to dear friends was an emotional moment for Bassett. I remember him saying, well, thank you, Uncle Ted. I didn't particularly like that reference, but the, most, <laughs> the, day, the day was so special for both of us. And uh, one that I felt was a great rewarding for Charles, who had put so much into the game. Bassett has too, and one of his rewards came in the 2003 Breeders' Cup distaff. And they're coming down to the wire, and it's going to be a wire-to-wire -wire tour de force by Adoration. Adoration won wire by wire and one by four and a half. And she was bred by uh, my wife, Lucy Bassett, at Lanark Farm, a homebred filly. That was sort of one of the most rewarding moments of, personally, of my tenure at, at Breeders' Cup. As he looks back on his many years at the racetrack, his involvement in international racing, and his time devoted to the World Championships, Bassett is full of pride and anticipation for the Breeders' Cup homecoming at Keeneland. It was just a wonderful time of my life. And I think um, that it'll really be an outstanding Breeders' Cup. I'm Scott J. Gow for the Pollock Report.